Okay. Um. Hi. So, uh, my name's uh Isa, and because I feel that um gender AI as a platform still is not uh as widespread as character AI is. So I would like to share to you today how to make a bot for gender AI for anyone who does not know or anyone who wants to know how to do that. Um, it's very easy. It's very easy. It's a lot of copy and pasting and um, stuff like that. And depending on how detailed you want it, you may want to add certain things. Um, but if you want like a just a base character then i'm gonna show you that and today i'm gonna show you how to make a base uh, optimus prime character basically so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to um uh you don't have to do this first but you know um go to pinterest uh, go to Pinterest, uh, look for uh, profile pictures of your favorite characters. You know, there's a lot of ones available here. Right. There's a lot available here. Um, uh, to make it for yourself, like privately or to make it publicly, you want... If it's publicly, probably something flashy like, like this. Uh, stuff like that. Like, this would be really well. Stuff like this. But, um... Let's get into the meat of it. And, um... What you're gonna do is, um... Uh... So, they have create a character here. Right? This is how you create a character. And it's gonna say image. This is how you um, put the image. It's the character name. Obviously, the character name goes here. Uh, the bio, this is just what people will be seeing. So if you say Optimus Prime from uh, Transformers, they will see this if you make it public. Tags, you'll do stuff like this. Like you'll have a main male character, it's dominant, female, fictional, OC, smut, stuff like that. And then, um, you can go ahead and do limited or uh, limitless. Basically, limited is it's safe for everybody uh, and it won't be an SFW. Limitless is an SFW. Uh, personality, it says character definition. This is a heart of your character, and this truly is a heart of char your character. So, in the personality, uh, this is where you will be putting everything everything about your character completely and so what i'm gonna show you is if you look up uh a character for a wiki page which is the best thing that you can possibly do you'll get all this information all this information that's very good and you'll get all these things all these different things and that's good because that's gonna give you the character definition stuff like that right so you just literally just copy and paste this you copy and paste this and this is just the general stuff and I know he has more history, and I'm sure the characters you're willing to do uh, has more history, but for this, this is just a general, like, how he acts, how he is, and stuff like that. But, um, if you do this, it won't, um, be as descriptive or, like, lore accurate and stuff like that. If you just give a general basis like this, it will not be, like, to point of the character that you want it to be. So you can go down, right? I'm doing G1 Optimus from Generation 1, so I have a lot of other things to copy and paste. A lot of other things to copy and paste. You can see here as well. 
stuff like this, everything like that. Uh, just go to multiple sites, multiple sites, multiple wiki sites that tell them about like it, it, like this one says his personality, right? So this one gives you a little bit more. So copy and paste this one. And we're gonna copy and paste that. Oh, so that's good. And then this one has like an ability list and this would be more for if you're looking for like, like an action roleplay, if you like, um, fighting and stuff like that in role plays, you would copy and paste this as well but since I'm not interested in that I'm not gonna copy and paste that and then also uh, you know just normal stuff like personality that's very important personality so this personality traits and stuff like that it tells you gives you a list so I'm gonna copy and paste this as well Again, we're doing this into the uh, personality box for the character definition. And then um, you can add other things as well. So uh, if you want to add specific things, like if you have any headcanons for a character, you can go ahead and be like... Um, uh, character or car for short uh, make sure it's in these brackets for sure it has to be in these brackets just so the system knows what you're talking about um, is very soft spoken stuff like that and then also if if you want something that is directly towards you uh, you can go ahead and do this So if you put user in this, that means it's you, no matter what. And no matter what um, you have going on, it's, it's going to know that this is strictly for you. This is for the user or anybody else who uses it. It's not a general thing, it's just strictly for the user. So you can be user is the mate of, and then to confirm it, can do car. So if you want any actions like that that are very um, specific towards you personally rather than generalized, uh, make sure you go ahead and, and, and do this. It's going to change everything. And um, also, scenario. scenario can be anything you want. Anything you want, literally anything you want. You can leave this blank, which I don't recommend, or you can do something like, which is, this is usually what I do. Um, car is, is in love with user. This is just basic, very basic. Okay. Um, We'll go to this last example dialogues. Uh, what you want to do is um, Google search uh, quotes, quotes that your character has made. So I looked up the quotes for Optimus Prime and I have a lot of them here. So you just literally just copy and paste them. You, this is literally all it is and what it does is it helps um, the bot you know uh, with speech patterns and stuff like that that's that's all it that does it helps it speak um, let's let's not talk about this Let's not talk about that. That's G1. Let's not talk about that. But what it does is that it helps your bot speak in a more defined way that you um, want them to speak in. Right? 
So, yeah, just look up quotes, copy and paste them, stuff like that. Uh, initial first message. If you're going to make it public, uh, make it generalized. If you're going to make it uh, private, and make sure that it is um, specific to you how you want to open up a role play with. Um, so, for an example, be like, off, Optimus gazed down at you. Hello, my spark mate. Stuff like that. Like, like that's it. Um, and then again, character name, just character name. Like I said, uh. And then character chat name is just like a chat name. Like it maybe if you put like the character name is like a full like first name and last name. Maybe you don't want to see that all the time. Maybe you just want to see their first name. So that's what you would do. So for my case, I would just put um, Optimus. And that's it. Uh, character bio. Uh, Optimus. Prime. There you go, character tags, you know, metal character, blah, 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 this, this, and that. I already showed you guys, but yeah, you can see that they have a lot of different tags. And these tags are important if you want to make a public bot, because um, if you tag them in these things, more people will see them. And you'll get a higher, like, likely chance of people using your bots rather than nobody is using them because they are tagged. They have a lot of different tags here for different things. A lot of different things. So there's a robot one here, so I'll go ahead and put robot as well as the male one. Also, this is very important. Very important. Any POV character is not specific to the gender orientation of the user. This is very important, especially if you want to make public bots. Uh, any POV, a lot of people look for any POV because some of them are strictly for female users or male users, but if you put any POV, that lets them know that uh, that male and female users are able to use this. And what that does is basically he will regard you as a male or a female, but if you put any POV, he will recognize that you are either what you put in the uh, your profile as a female or a male or they them and he will address you as such so it is very important go ahead uh let's go ahead and do this real quick uh <laughs> no not star scream um give me a second Do this real quick. Uh, okay, here's my image that I chose. Everything is good to go, so let's do create character. Created my character, now everything's good to go. So this is new, but you click on this privacy, privacy settings and you can make it private or not. So right now it is unprivate, it starts off as unprivate can switch this to make it public. Sorry, I set that backwards. So it was private, but now it is public. Um, show character definition. Uh, character definition is basically everything that you inputted into this bot. If you want to show it publicly or not, if you show it publicly, everybody can go ahead and see the things that you have written down, like stuff like this. Uh, like, so if you make it specific, if you make like little head cannons and stuff like that, they can see that as well. 
So if you don't want to share that with anybody, you can go ahead and put, um, you can keep this off. Or if you don't mind that, then you, you can put it that you can show character definition. And then proxy settings. Um, I, I allow proxies 100% just because I use proxies. I use safe proxies and a lot of people use them as well. But I, I do use proxies. But this is up to you completely. You can either not allow proxies and you can either just use OpenAI or Janitor LLM or you can allow the proxies. But that's it. That's how, that's how it works. It's very simple. Uh, let me just uh, do this real quick. Let me show you how he might talk. Okay. Um, uh, just, you know, something like that. And then this is how he will react. Obviously, this is in, in character. Okay, um, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, he, he kissed, he kissed me. Okay, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> what is he doing? Anyways, anyways, just, um, but yeah, that's, that's, um, this is, this is how you make the bot. This is how you do it. Like I said, it's very important that you, uh, look up the wiki pages for your characters that you want. Um, um, using multiple sites as well helps a lot. Using multiple sites is very important, not just one of them. Um, just uh, also looking up their personality will help as well because sometimes they will give you a full rundown of the character's personality. Um, again, quotes is very important for, di for dialogue and everything like that. And even stuff like, uh, I was gonna put this, uh, Cybertronian food, but I wasn't gonna do it. But even like world building stuff like this is important. It depends on how detailed you want your bot. If you don't care about like the world building, then don't look up stuff like this. But if you do care about that, then definitely look up some stuff like that. Like, um, like, for him, I was looking at food because, like, what what he would eat, stuff like that, or what the Autobots would eat, everything like that. But if you don't care about that, then don't do any world building. Um, but that's that's the basis of it. Um, I hope you guys have fun. I've had a lot of fun on the site. Um, character AI, you know, I get the filter all the time, so. I don't even care if I can go past the filter. It's 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 still like soft, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want that. Like this is completely completely unfiltered. So, I hope you guys have fun. I hope uh, this helped you. And um bye-bye.